Our Father, art who is up in heaven, aloe vera be thy name. The thigh. Thy kingdom, the magic kingdom, as it is on earth in the helicopter. While you were shooting this, as the political season was heating up even more, were there things that happened in the media, in the press, that you're just like, after you were done shooting, you're like, oh, I wish we could incorporate that? I'm trying to think of anything that's happened since. We got lucky and we're shooting right during the GOP primaries, which, you know, that debate stage was a little bit like the set a of a reality of show. Yeah, <laughs> and they were, you know, each week a new person would be at the top and then there would be a horrible scandal uh, and come down. And one thing that happened that we were amazed by was when Herman Cain's uh, charges of sexual harassment came out, his poll numbers shot up for a while mm -hmm. as a result. So we, we stuck that right in the script. And uh, there were some other, like I remember um, someone asking someone, Do you, you have guns, right? Because they were trying to see if they would pass the NRA test. And someone said, oh yeah, I got guns. And someone said, oh, I have two guns. Well, I got five guns. Yeah. And I've always had, you know, like it was the, the competition to show how well armed you were mm -hmm. uh, as a qualification for a presidential right. office was And specifically, <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, it was for the GOP. And, and yeah. in a way, I feel like this film will not be viewed as funny by Republicans who live in southern, you know, towns yeah. and stuff like that. Does that bother you that you that know, might not I, be the audience? I think, that, I think it might be funny to people from either party because Will Ferrell plays a Democrat who is somewhat inspired by John Edwards, a little Congressman Wiener, or probably a little Bill Clinton in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And Marty Huggins, played by Zach Galifianakis, is inspired a little bit by Tea Party candidates, but also turns out to have the, the kind of soul and heart of the movie uh, in his character. So I think people will um, sort of see something, whoever you, whatever point of view you have, that they, that they can enjoy making fun of and laughing about. Sure, and, and with the selection of this casting with Zach and Will against each other, which we haven't really seen that before, was that yeah. like very conscious to you? Like you <laughs> wanted to have these very different sure. comedic actors? Comedy loves contrast and loves uh, conflict too, and, and they each come at it so differently. Um, Zach's brain works differently than everybody else's, and I think at first it's you're not sure how to feel about it. It's so off-center. And then the more you get to know him, the more you like it because it's so off-center. And that's that's kind of amazing what, what he, that alchemy he performs. And Will is different. He's he's so instantly likable and you'd go hang out with him if you could, you know. But then as he, uh, you know, uh, reveals more of himself, there's layers of dysfunction and and uh, craziness that um, is also appealing and in a totally different way. And so the, the goal was to, to sort of make a map that pitted them against each other, you know, uh, or, or create a cage like in, in the Ultimate Fighting Championship or something that they'd have to have to beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> I would watch, I would watch that fight. I would <laughs> yeah, watch yeah. You, can you imagine an actual uh, fight between those two guys? It would be That'd really be terrifying. Yeah. Um, would you would you vote for either one of these candidates in the upcoming election? I would pay other candidates to run against them so they wouldn't get into office. I would donate to to the third party. You know, they have some people are voting anybody but Obama. I would say anybody but these two guys because do you want Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis having anything to do with running your country or being close to anything explosive or you know armies? That is a sign of a civilization in decline.